When we see God as Savior in the person of Christ, that's the only place we see Him as such. When we see God as Savior in the person of Jesus, we forget all about Him being the minister of condemnation and death. Isn't that true, brothers and sisters? It doesn't mean we forget about the law because the law is part of God's Word. Okay, But the real reality is when we see Christ, the condemnation's gone. The guilt is gone. It, it should be going away, y'all. The condemnation, the guilt is gone. Because we've seen a greater revelation of God than we could ever see in the law. We've seen God, the Savior, in the face of Christ Jesus. We know Him and see Him as we have never seen Him before. That's what happens when the Holy Spirit works effectually in the heart of the hearer. That's what happens. He reveals Himself to us. He reveals God the Savior in the person and the work of Christ Jesus. And that's when we know Him. We see Him as we have never seen Him before. So again, see why the therefore of verse 12 is therefore? Of course, Paul uses great boldness of speech. Of, of course, he courageously and confidently preaches the gospel glory of the grace of God in Christ Jesus alone. I mean, y'all just, just look at the surpassing, eclipsing glory of God in Christ Jesus. Have you ever seen Him? Have you ever, I'm talking to you personally, have you ever seen Him? Have you ever seen the surpassing, abounding glory of God, God Yahweh, in Christ Jesus, in the person and in the work of Jesus? Have you seen Him personally? Have you seen Him? Have you seen the Savior that He is? Have you seen what He has done? Have you seen how He lived His life in perfection to be your perfection? Have you seen how He died on the cross under the wrath of God that it was appointed for you to remove your sin and therefore God's wrath from you? Have you seen that He was dead because of you? He lay dead in the grave because of your sin. But have you seen on the third day He rose again? Have you seen Him? Have you seen the glory of God the Savior? He did all of that to save His people from their sins. That first angelic proclamation in the book of Matthew. You will call His name Savior Jesus. Yahweh saves because He will save His people from their sins. Not condemn them. Not put them to death because of their sin. That's what they deserve. But the Savior, He is able and He is willing to take away our sin and to give us righteousness, perfection in its place that makes us acceptable before Him. Have you seen Him? Have you seen Him? Right now. Right now. Right this moment. At the right hand of the majesty on high. Have you seen Him there pleading your acceptance by His presence? By His meditorial office? Have you seen Him ever living to make intercession for you? Have you rested upon His person? Have you rested upon His work? Have you seen Him? Do you know Him? Do you know Him as your Savior? As your Savior. If you have, if you have, you know then that you've known Him, you see Him and you know Him like you've never known Him before. No more the death. No more does the right, the death and the, and the condemnation come, forth, come first. But Christ is first. Christ is everything. Christ and His sacrifice. Christ and His, His abounding presence now living for you. As your Savior, as your righteousness, as your salvation. Have you seen Him? Do you know Him? Do you know Him? I 
pray you do. Look at him if you can. See him if the Spirit would enable you by the grace of God this morning. Know him as your only hope of escaping the wrath of God that your sins deserve. He's it. He's all you have, but he's all you need.